David Gilkey's work is tender, sensitive, moments that capture emotion for all the world to feel. He wanted to capture their pain so people at home understood these are people, this is real, this is important, we should all be educated on it, we should all care. For the last three years of his life, David was very complicated and complex. Claudine Kent was his life partner. He was an artist, so he had that part of his personality, but um, he had this intensity um, and determination. He had a sense of humor. You begin to feel it a bit in this video playing at the exhibition. It was made for NPR. The most frequent question that I get asked, how do you get pictures on the radio? I mean, I get it. I'm a photographer that works at a radio station. It does seem an odd mix, but in this multimedia world, his pictures posted online brought another dimension to the correspondent's stories. You know, it's been an absolutely natural fit to to work with NPR reporters and to put together their pieces with what we do. Gilkey grew up in Portland and found his calling for news photography at Oregon State University. It took him around the world. He lived with soldiers in Afghanistan, witnessed heartbreaking scenes like this little boy dying from Ebola in Liberia, and also this funeral pyre for a young mother in India, and so much more. Kent said it was his passion. You have to sacrifice a lot. David sacrificed his whole life for his career because he was passionate about it. So it's not something you go into for fame and fortune. It's something you go into because it's kind of a calling. And I believe he was called to do it. The director of the School of Arts and Communication at OSU thinks his work will inspire others. I like this exhibition because it shows students that you can study in college and go out and really make something of yourself in the world and, and create a place where the world is a better place because of, the, of what you've contributed to it. She is a fan of Gilkey's photos. I think when people come in here, they want to look at the photographs as beautiful photographs, but there's way more to it than that. Thinking of this one person who went out, put himself on the line, to capture that story so that all of us, it's, it's for humanity, so that all of us can understand the world in a better way. Thursday night, friends and colleagues from NPR gathered in Corvallis for a special night to remember Gilkey and talk about journalism. NPR's morning host, David Green, was there, among others. Claudine Kent said she hopes those of us who see Gilkey's work will also feel his tender heart for others. It's kind of funny because people always said he looked so tough and gruff, but, um, his softness inside when he would be in these places obviously came out to people. Pat Doris, KGW News.